Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jose Diaz and today we are going to continue with the AutoCAD drawing. On the last video, we we'll learned how to save a file, how to configure the units, how to create layers, copy and paste uh, files on, in another format like uh, images or PDF on our model space. And also we'll learn how to apply zoom and move object through the through the space model. What we're going to do today is we're going to start with the structural elements. But first we need to uh, create the grid lines. The grid lines are really important because will allow us to identify where elements are located. Let's see this example. For example, if we have these uh, grid lines, by having this grid line, we can say that the blue point is between the axis C, D, number one and two. If we don't have the grid line, it will be really complicated to locate and identify where things are located. So we need to start with the grid lines of, in this case, our first structural elements, which is, is or which are the columns. So the columns has 10 inches the base and the body has 5 inches and the grid line as we see here have to be bigger. We can say that could be 15 inches. Also we have to check that we have auto mode activated. Auto mode activated will allow you to make straight lines straight lines and also we need to activate the reference points. The reference points will help us to identify different intersections points of the line or maybe your know, different figures that you are doing like a, like a, the center of the point of a, of a circle, the starting point and the end points. So we're going to start with the first uh, common which is line. The shortcut is L. We are going to type L, enter. We are going to select where we want to start. I'm going to start with the horizontal line. When we click, we notice that this is a, a that there is a line that is extending from this point. And it is a, a straight because we have auto mode activated. So now the need, what we need to know is to enter the measurements. In this case, we say that this line would be 15 inches, enter. Enter again. Now we need to create the other line. We are going to type line again. And we are going to start from the middle. As you see, because we have the reference points activated, we, we notice that what is the middle point of the line. So we can start from there. We will move the, our mouse to the direction that we want to extend that line. In this case, we'll be down and we will type the measurement. It will be 15 inches as well. Enter, enter. Now we need to move this line and create an intersection between between these two lines. But what we want to do is to select the line, type M or movement or move, and select the point from where we want the intersection. So I want the intersection of the middle point to this middle point. So I will select this and I will move up to the middle point. So we need we need we know now that that is the middle point. Enter and I have my first grid. The next thing that I have to use is to change the, the layer in order to create the, the column. So we have we can use layer and change the column. Base column is this one, right? We select it. And now we need to use another common, which is 
rectangle. So we type rec, enter, and we need to specify the first point of the corner. Will be this one. I think it could be this, whatever, whatever you want. But I'm going to select this one, and I I'm seeing now that the the rectangle is is being created. But I need to enter the measurement from each side. In this case, it will be 10 inches, comma minus 10 inches. Have to be minus because I want this uh, rectangle rectangle grows to downside. So when you want to things grow downside or to the left, you have to use negative negative uh, values. In this case, it will be minus 10, 10 minus 10. Enter. So we already have our rectangle over here. Uh, and the only thing I'm going to say I'm going to do is to move move it in order to have a really center. And now we are going to use another common, which is uh, where we need to change the layer. We can use now this. And now we're going to use offset. Enter. We need to create a specific um, distance where the offset will be uh, done or will be created. In this case, we, we are going to create an offset of five inches. So we need to type two and a half inches. Enter. Now we select the object and where we want to create the next figure look to be to the inside of the, the the rectangle so I type two and a half because if I want this have uh, five inches I will have two and a half here on this side and two and a half oh, two and a half here on this side I need to change the layer of this one layer I select I select it and I change the layer to this one body. 